Recycle Rama is Lansing's largest recycling event. It gives locals a convenient way to get rid of unwanted items. But the event also brings a lot of traffic. Fox 47's Jen Till Neal talked to the coordinator and volunteers about how they're putting drivers at ease. Hi, what have you got? Have some quilts. Scrap metal, old clothing, paper, plastic. Everyone has it and everyone you see wants to get rid of it. So they're bringing it here. Many of the cars that you see pulling up have been waiting many weeks for the Recycle Rama. They say it's just in time for spring cleaning. Do you have a lot of stuff? Um, I did. It's, it's, I'm getting rid of a lot of it. She's not the only one. Cars were lined up at 9 a.m. coming from South Cedar Street in Lansing to drop off recyclable items. Just check out this line. It was just car after car after car. Many volunteers like Notisha Jo Ray worked in several lines. It was all an effort to help traffic move a bit faster. Traffic has been great. It comes kind of in spurts. So, you know, you get a lot of people at once, maybe five cars at once, and then it might be one or two cars, but it's been pretty steady. The city announced closures ahead of time, training volunteers to keep traffic backups to a minimum. We deal with that with a lot of people trained in traffic control. But it is um, a challenge for folks to maneuver sometimes. Based on community response each year, the city has looked into scheduling more days for Recycle Rama. When we discuss the possibility of expanding it and maybe making a fall event, I think it just becomes a little bit too expensive. They'll continue to remind people throughout the year to make the most of their spring cleaning. In Lansing, Gentil Neal, Fox 47 News. Another thing that slows down traffic is bringing items that only the county takes. Things like old furniture and household hazardous items are things Recycle Rama does not take.